Hey loves, welcome back to Life Adventures and Keto. My name is Michelle. It's lunchtime. It's 70 degrees here in Northwest Tennessee. You don't like that weather, honey? Stick around. Anyway, come back and let's discuss what I've been into. Okay, you guys, so it's been a minute since I've been here, and I have been working on myself. I've been working on my mental things, and I am at a better, uh, happier headspace. So here we are. I am back on my keto journey. I'm going to call this day one, and we'll just go from here. How about that? We're not dredging up anything in the past. I've done work through some of those things and some of those eating issues, and I hope that, um, I hope that I'm on the right ketogenic path now. The right mental path mental health is really important but i'm feeling better now so you guys let us um let's ride to town let's ride and see what we can get up to it's already almost 12 30 so i don't have really time to stop and look for anything today as far as addition to my lunch but I did have um, chaffles for breakfast and I'll insert a little clip of that here. Chaffles. I have not been completely, completely, completely off the keto wagon, but I've had more non-keto days than I would really like. So today I did weigh, I didn't measure. I hope to remember to do that today with some starting pictures. But I'm gonna insert my weight here because I'm trying to keep myself accountable. I'm not happy about it, but um, this is where we are now. And so here's my weight. Still doing my Miracle Morning Routine. That is by Hal Elrod. And I'm also doing still my baby steps through the fly lady system. And I did get that clean, shiny sink as she has talked about. Let me insert that here. So both of these things together are helping me work through a lot of things and you know it's hard to be a parent when you haven't yet dealt with the stuff in your head your ailments your problems your past transgressions whatever it is that you're feeling guilty about is there if they're puffers but um hence nonetheless I guess I've done it because now we're empty nesters and that is a difficult place to be. It's a difficult place to be. But again, I work through my issues. So here we are. What in this season today for Michelle needs to happen? Peace, tranquil, tranquility, and in the love space at all costs in that love space at all cost and that's where i'm going to go from today forward so i hope that you see it i hope that you feel it and if you don't i hope that you just ride along on the coattails until you do see it or feel it mental health once again is very very important i'm going to dedicate a two a couple of lives to this topic and so if you would like to be a guest on a life with me discussing mental health there's no gamut 
there's no playlist. You speak about what is in your mental health bucket and I will speak to what's in my mental health bucket and what helps us get out of maybe the stalls of the mental spaces. Does that make sense? It may not make sense to you if you've never had anxiety or fear or anxiety <laughs> in your own personal lives, but I've dealt with more than my fair share. <sighs> not that you can cure that off the bat, but I can only go here forward and not, not go down those paths again. Nature heals, exercise heals. So we did survive the snow apocalypse. How are you doing? How did you survive? Did you run out of things? We had everything we needed. We had love, we had water, we had power, we had food. We couldn't go nowhere, but we didn't run out of anything and we were fine. So I hope that you went through that snow apocalypse that way as well. I did bring with me today. It is again jumping back on the ketogenic wagon after flip-flopping a little bit um, here and there. Mental headspace as well as no apocalypse as well as I'm a binge eater. I used to say I was one but I am I am a binge eater so that that um that doesn't that affliction doesn't help me in my keto journey very much but here we go anyway <laughs> i said all that to say that i brought my lunch today i will show a little clip there of what i had for lunch and i did pair that with a keto raid hey loves this is lunch for today i did bring two chaffles one pickle and one half an avocado with an electrolyte drink Keto Raid is what Dr. Kingberry called it. Uh, this is day one a restart of ketogenic. So here's lunch. And the Keto Raid ingredients that I used was one off of Dr. Kingberry's recipes long, long ago. So you can look that up if you want to. Ken Berry Keto Raid. So I had that and the lunch I was just showed you. And for lunch tonight, I mean lunch tonight. At dinner tonight, I'm going to be having keto meatloaf. And I don't know what side I'm going to have yet. I have, um, I think I have radishes.
well, first of all, I love the mashups, and second of all, people are just stupid. <laughs> people are just stupid, and that's funny. When you don't want to deal with something, you just want you just want to laugh. It's the best medicine. If you need to have more time in your life. Don't do it because you will go down this rabbit hole and you will just, you know, you'll go down this rabbit hole and it's not fun. Not fun to find yourself on the rabbit hole. Anyway, I'm just on and on today. It's beautiful out here today, you guys. Beautiful. I wish I had 30 minutes to walk, but I do not. Okay, so I got my walk-in inside at Walmart instead since I had enough time to grab two things. We're on an as-need basis at the moment since we were both off for two weeks. So, um, anyway, happy lunch, happy exercise, happy walk. Maybe I can do some more when I get home. Okay, guys, I'm only in um, Paris. Oh, one second. I'm only in Paris, Tennessee, once a week, um, in town, downtown, and um, I picked up a radical skedaddle, because that's my favorite, and from the GNC, I picked up a Quest peanut butter cups, you've not had one of these, they're the devil, so don't, if you don't want to be locked in, but anyway, like I said, I'm only here once a week, this is my splurge for the week, and here we are, that's going to be snack. I don't want to show up to the clients too early because they won't be out of my way. But I don't want to show up late because I'm trying to be on time, you guys. There is no reason in this world why I should be late. But my anxious mind had me doing all kinds of things first thing in the morning. So working the miracle morning routine helps. Also working the baby steps through quality systems helps because now I have systems in place for the nighttime routine to set me up for my morning routine. So that's always good as well.